Hi there, welcome back for another Keeping Mentally Healthy. It's Lorraine and it's week four. We are talking about being unique. This week we are talking about our experiences of the world that make us unique. What happens in our world around us that make us who we are? Let me give you a little bit of an example. So two people go to the seaside on different days. So one person goes and it's a beautiful sunny day and the sun shining you feel nice and warm on your skin and the waves are gently lapping on the beach you've got a lovely ice cream in your hand and what flavor you'd have mm, raspberry ripple for me i think and you're just chatting or playing and it's just lovely another person goes it might be very similar to the person that went the first week and it's maybe been a day like today. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it's windy and it's raining and it's cold and it's awful. And then perhaps a seagull came down and ate your chips and then the ice cream fell off your cone and it was just freezing and you were miserable and it was awful. So two similar people had very different experiences of the same place. So if somebody comes along a week later and says, oh, what did you think to Scarborough or wherever it was? You can imagine what the two people would say differently, don't you? One person would say, oh, it's fab, loved it, it's so nice. And the other person would go, oh, it's miserable. But it's the same place. So our experiences shape us and all sorts of different experiences shape us. So just think of what we have around us, that world around us that, that we have immediately, like our family and our school um where we go do we go to the park have we got nice green spaces we can play all of these little things can shape us as well but it's all sorts of other different things and that can go quite deep too so it's things like do we live in a place where we have clean water do we experience prejudice do we um live somewhere where we feel supported and cared for do we also um, do we live in a place where we can think and act and behave as we feel like we want to behave? Or are those things controlled? All sorts of different things can shape how we live our lives. And we all have different experiences. So we are all going to, they're all going to shape us and we're going to react to things differently. Now, I want you to bear that in mind next time you have an argument. So if you just think there'll be, say, just have an argument in the playground or something, then different people will come at that from different points of view. And this is the same for little arguments, big arguments, big arguments in the world, like between politicians and things like that. They will be coming at things from a different point of view and a different experience of the world. So how can we how can we make that work? How can we you know, make those arguments right and help each other understand? So the very, very first big tip that I can give you, and it's dead easy, listen. Now look, we've got two of these and we've got one of those. So that tells me I mean, I was always OK at maths at school. So that tells me we probably need to listen twice as much as we speak. So often if there's an argument in the playground, what we need to do is listen to each other. So somebody will have understood the situation in one way. You might have understood it in another way. You need to listen to each other. And then once you've listened, you can do something that's called seek to understand. What you're trying to do is understand their story, their experience of, of the world and what they've, or at least what they've seen right there and then. And it might be just something little, or it might be actually something a bit bigger. They may be expecting people to be mean to them because that's what they've experienced before. So seek to understand listen seek to understand that is really important and so many things in the world are happening and really coming to the forefront of the news and things like that 
because people are not being listened to. So just think things like um, Greta Thunberg and the, and the climate crisis. She's been so frustrated because people weren't listening to her and taking her seriously. And also things like the Black Lives Matter movement. People are not being heard. And this is when things all kick off. So as a starting point, you listen and you seek to understand. Brilliant. Now, our activity today is all about trying to see things from other people's point of view and thinking about their experience of the world. So I don't know if any of you have ever seen um, Stacey Dooley and her show on the on CBBC, which is Show Me What You're Made Of. Now, you could probably watch any of those and they'd all give you a really good idea. But what happens is that a group of children will go either to another part of the UK or even abroad and get an idea of how other people live or work or do things. And it's brilliant because it gives them a different experience. So by going out and doing these things, they've been able to listen and they seek to understand and it changes their view and it helps them and I think it changes them and shapes them so we've got a little clip and um, which are hopefully your teachers got but to be honest you could just watch any clip from any of it and they're all brilliant and give you a really good idea then after that I've got some questions that we can that we can well you guys can talk about together or you can maybe just think about quietly to yourself or or maybe I don't know. I don't know how much time you've got, but perhaps you could make a, a display or a, just um, some art over it or something like that. Anything is. I always like to give you options because we're all different. We're all unique, and we all like to respond to these things in different ways. Okay, so I'm going to leave that with you. So remember, next time you have a big argument in the playground or at home or whatever. So rather than use this, use these, listen and seek to understand. Okay, I'll see you next time.